Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Monica. Thank you so much for coming. This video is about my Invisalign treatment. In September 2020, I decided to close the gaps that were in my teeth. So my bottom teeth and my front teeth had gaps in it and I wanted to close them because I had my wedding coming up. And also I just wanted to close it because now I wanted a great smile for life. So I went and met with uh, an other dentist. She quoted me a price and I said, sign me up. And then in, I believe third or fourth week of September, she called me back and then I went in and got my attachment put on and I got my first set of trays. So right now I am on week 15 and I actually right now have my Invisaligns in there. So. I have my week 15 in and I'm going to show you how to take them off because it's not pretty. So just excuse me, there's going to be a lot of mess going on, so I apologize. But to take them off, you basically, I basically just take my hair Okay, so that's my bottom tray. And then I do the same thing, hook my finger underneath it. See? Yep, not pretty at all. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm on week 15 and I have made a lot of progress, you guys. Like my before when I was talking, you could see my gaps, like my bottom teeth and my front teeth all over. Like it wasn't just in one spot, I had gaps all over. And now look at this. My gaps are closed. I mean, they're not all the way closed, but they're closed. Yay! <laughs> so I am, I am beyond excited. So I am, I mean, like, I had to pay like $4,000 out of pocket for this. And you know what? It was money well spent. So what have happened since my last update? Well, when I first initially got Invisalign, it hurt. Like, getting, putting my Invisalign in, hurt. Taking them out, hurt. Eating, hurt. Like, I couldn't eat solid food. I stopped eating apples. <laughs> I was all on bananas and mashed potatoes and gravy. That's all that I could eat. Because chewing just hurt. And I, like, I asked my, my orthodontist, why am I in pain? And she said, oh, that's okay. It's normal. It's normal. Some people have more pain than others. And then she said, I might have a low pain tolerance level. So she might be right there. But it hurt a lot. And then starting week 14 and then week 15, which I am on right now, the pain level has gone down a lot. So it still hurts, but it's not painful it's just dull pain aching pain which i can manage so i am glad i'm no longer in pain like that so i went in last week got my new set of in, of trays and then i have a schedule i have scheduled an appointment for february to go back and this time she's gonna do refinement on my teeth so to refine she's gonna basically take this um false looking metal and then just go back and forth between my teeth to make sure that I don't have any crowding going on because yeah the front teeth are closing but we want all of them to close so since the front are already closing and the side I still have some gap in the side she doesn't want the front to be crowded so she's gonna do refinement like go back and forth to shape them down a little bit and then she's gonna take a new scan of my teeth send it off and then they're going to have to make a new set of trays so and that those new set of trays will come in in march so i'm excited i mean i don't want shaving of my teeth to happen at all because i don't like that sound but she promised me it will be painless so i'm keeping my fingers crossed there uh, what else yeah i think that's about it really i'm just excited that my oh no i have noticed some staining on my teeth yeah like some of my teeth, like for example, this one, this tooth is a lot wider than this one. And this one is the one that had attachment on it. 
So I have, it's not a lot that other people would notice it, but me, because I look at my teeth all the time, <laughs> I notice, I see it there. So I am a little frustrated about that because I don't want my teeth to be all yellow and everything. But before I freak out, I do have my regular dentist appointment in February. I'm gonna go see my dentist and then I will ask to see if the staining is on the attachment that is on my teeth or my actual teeth are staining. And from what they tell me, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Um, if it is my actual teeth, then I'll have to do teeth whitening. If it's just the, um, the attachment on it, then I'm gonna have my other dentist take off that attachment and put a new one in. So keeping my fingers crossed that it is just the attachment that are staining. And I don't understand why they're staining because I brush my teeth every time I eat, I floss, I use mouthwash, I actually wash my trays with my electric toothbrush. So I'm doing everything that they told me to do, so I don't understand what's going on here. But again, I'm hoping I'm making a big deal out of this, and when I talk to the professionals, they are going to be like, oh, it's okay, and you have an easy fix for this. So I'm going to be hopeful. But anyway... I'm really glad that I did this because my teeth are how I want them. So that money, that $4,000, I'm not going to cry about it. It was well spent. So my teeth are coming great. I am happy that I did this. And if you are thinking about getting Invisalign, please do your research first. You know, like talk to different other dentists so that they you get better price. Because what I did was I just went to the first person, other dentist I talked to when I signed up. I didn't shop around at all. So you need to shop around. Don't do what I did. But I'm sure you will be happy with your smile as I am with mine right now. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Please support me by subscribing to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.